Good morning, afternoon or evening. That might just be the new way I start these things now, because I never know when they're actually going to be posted or what time of day anyone's going to be looking at it. <laughs> In any case, we're back at it. Um, we are at 123 out of 127 events discovered so far. Um, there are 130-something, I think it's 137 events. I don't know if that includes the Tomba 1 shit. Um... But we'll, uh, we'll see. I believe the website I'm looking at, the uh, tomba.fandom.com, the Tomba Wiki, um, has a list of all the events. And I will know if it is including all of the um, Tomba 1 stuff in their list once I start seeing the Tomba 1 events on here. Yes, I would like to load this file. We are, we are well equipped with our cup of java and our uh, Golden Girls mug. Thank you for being a friend. Right now, our next mission, <clears throat> should we choose to accept it, is remove this fucking um, pig robe and start collecting tiny pigs. So what I think we're going to do is we're just going to start at the beginning, as we are one to do. And the objective of this mission is find one of each unique pig enemy. I don't believe the Toradakas count. Um, and use the pig ball to shrink them down and collect them for the ice candy guy. And this is a projectile weapon. Looks like a dumpling. I got a tiny flying pig, so now that's all I need there. Let's go off into the into the into the blue distance. How many scorpion references can we make in one one series? The pipe area. We'll find us a fire pig now. Easy one should be by where the, uh, the water pipe is. I might run into another one sooner than that. We'll see. There might be one over here, now that I think about it. Yeah, there's one right here. Okay. So can I get to it easily? Um, tiny Flame Pig. All right. And then... Where is Baron? Pujara? Yo! Tiny Ice Pig. Tiny Ice Pig get. Alright. Uh, now we need a Ghost Pig. Um, I think Laughing Crying Forest is going to be the easiest place for me to grab one of these. This from here, I could just go backward into the um, forest entrance area. I believe there's a ghost pig right outside. Oh, and there's a, there's a chest. Let me actually go grab that before I forget. Um, grab that. Oh, fuck. Is it up this way? White chest that I saw. That's not so where the fuck is it? And I saw it. That's there. Well now I have the uh, normal fruit. I can heal myself of this crying state. I have a portable and different fruit. Eh. And it gets an extra fruit out of it. Nice. 
Another lunchbox. Oh, let's get all the low hanging fruit. Let me switch to the big ball. Goes. Come get it. Tiny Ghost Pig acquired. Ah, uh, let's see. Yep, there should be five of them. So, um. Circus Village doesn't have one. The Water Temple. The pigs in the water are next. I'm going to need to be in the water in order to actually acquire myself a high dick, a evil pig from the water. Water pig acquired. All right, and I'm pretty sure that's all of the evil pig variants. So let us go to the circus. We're going to the circus. Here. Now, is he going to do a separate cutscene for each of the tiny pigs? Oh, I actually have to use them? Oh, lord. Alright. Tiny pigs? so much. Why can't you just make them pink items? What was the point? Is there any other instance where I would think using a tiny pig would do anything? Like, I could, I could understand making it a blue item because, like, alright, well, there's some problem solving involved in this game. What? <laughs> maybe there'll be an instance where, okay, maybe the tiny pig is the solution and it's not this. Because technically speaking, I have the ability to continue to make tiny pigs. Like there's um there are um categories for this game, speedrun categories, um all inventory. Because I believe I can go back to the um the, the the ranch summit, talk to the three girls again and get the mask of liars and then just walk away. So theoretically, there might be a way to actually acquire every item in the game and keep it in your inventory. And now, dancing. No, for real. Dancing. Or, I guess, juggling. I guess that counts. Hey, yo. Hota. Hota. The letter J. The letter J in Spanish. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. Push the button without putting down the coffee. Yes, I can. Okay. What did he just give me? Oh, he just gave me some points. He gave me some points, and now he is off to fuck off into the wilderness. All right, so now that the tiny pigs are done, let me actually take that flower back to the, to the dwarf child. I'm pretty sure I'd still have it in my inventory. Sorted the items recently. Yep, it's still there, so it must serve a purpose. 
most likely it's to complete that event. So let's uh, do that. Once I've finished all the stuff I can do off the top of my head. Oh, somebody's arrived. It's either Jujubees to take the wife off to the Goodwill, or it's Cody. We'll find out. Oh, okay, so you can only make one tiny pig. Otherwise, it's just it just knocks out the pigs. Nice, I like that. All right, cool. We're gonna keep that equipped unless I need to like grapple somewhere. Take your petite fa petite face flower. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's pink things everywhere. What's this? That, um, yeah, this is for you. Is it more points? No, it's a um, dwarf's proof acquired. Oh, okay, so I think I get proof from each of the Tomba One characters when I complete their mission. So, yeah. Let's go back to the list. Let's look at the old uh, events. Let's see. Look for gaps. In the events list, and then just see what that is. Because the, they on the on the Tomba wiki, they appear to be listed in this order. So there are gaps in the list. Then I should be able to. There we go. So Mashiki Bird Servants. Let's see what that is. Cheeky Bird Servants is Tiny Mini Tomba, Ball to the Pigs. I hear footsteps. Trolley ticket, quit the trolley, crying door, starving traveler. And then, 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 then. Snow Fear Fleas. Rare Collection, Taboo, Ultimate Sculpture. The Pedestal. Wash the Kujara. Fuck the Wash the Kujara. Baron, secret of the aquatic plant, unmoving. Ice candy bolt. The big are you approaching here. And the Shiki Bird Servants, Precious Ring. Defeat the evil flame pig, then speak to the man next to the stairs leading to the coal mining town's cafeteria. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Let's go to. Um, I can use the coal mining bell for this, actually. Just as the music decided to fuck off. Uh, let's see. Is it this guy? Hmm. So not that. Uh, maybe this guy down. Maybe you? Talk to me. Oh, we're just talking about items. Maybe it's this guy. It's, it's conspicuously facing the other direction. My ring. Okay. So now that that's been initiated. It might be in the underground area, see? Go to the pipe area, drop down into the depths right below the spot where the pipe curves below the entrance to the coal mining town. Wash the small mud clump you find there. Okay. Put on the flying squirrel clothes. Chain over there. Oh, 
gotta be this one. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Entrance to the coal mining tomb. Where the pipe curves. Go to the pipe area, drop down into the depths right below the spot where the pipe curves. Below the entrance of the coal mining town. Both beds done or just ours? Just ours. Alright. It's only in process of elimination at this point, so. What's that? Process of elimination at this point, let's we'll see. Entrance to the coal mining town. Where the pipe curves at the entrance to the coal mining town. Where the pipe... Right below the spot where the pipe curves. I mean, did I already go down that chain? Maybe it's the other one? I don't know if that's even a thing. This is the one I went to. Let me let me just see. <sighs> Literally drop in the dark depth on a specific spot. If you miss it, it will be a game of Okay, so it's a drop point. It's not a chain. Okay. is tricky. Hmm. Right where the pipe curves before the entrance to the coal mining town. So I'm not sure which pipe we're talking about here.
Turn here. No, not there either. Hmm. What happened? Who went after you, Pills? Pipe curve, so it's gonna be this pipe here. literally drop down the dark depth. If you miss it, it will be game over. Right below where the pipe curves below the platform. Below the platform, meaning the pipe curves below the platform. So maybe it's not here. Maybe this is what we're talking about. Because this could be the that, that hidden area we were talking about before. There it is. So this is a, a special area I'm going to need later on. I don't know what I need here, but I'm gonna use a hammer to see. Yeah, I don't know what that is supposed to do. Oh, okay, so I just get you out. All right, so I got the ring. With a mud mud ball, whatever. So clearly, I misunderstood what it meant by platform leading to the town. To wash the mud ball first. Dang it. Luna is losing her shit of washing shit. Miner's ring. What happened? I think Toby is eating my mother. Not my mother. Wow. My wife's pills. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Can I 
get a jewel. Very nice. All right. So, um, based on what I'm seeing on the website here, it's looking like I'm basically done with everything outside of the extra events. Uh, let me just keep going down, make sure I didn't miss any uh, other events beyond that point. Because we might be able to finish this up today. That would be great. Jara, the sticker. Yeah, that's it. So all those are done. So now I just gotta get the rest of these extra events. Invisible mirror, break the block. Summit, the crying door contains the mirror. Mizuno. I figured it was Mizuno. Alright. Well, now that I have the uh, the fruit that can heal me from the ship. Mizuno was a character in Tombow 1, so I guess that's, that's fine. Donglin, Force Entrance. done with this game. I gotta start doing my own fucking shit with the Pokemon playthroughs that are coming up. Uh, Cody's gonna start his his show. Soon, and very soon. Oh, I gotta stop. I do so I'm hurting myself this time. I don't want to go to the artist atrium. Jackson Pollock! Oh, interesting. Okay. Mysterious mushroom, where is it? Uh, uh, oh, it is laughing, okay. Okay, hey there. What's going on, we arch? Proof acquired. Beautiful. All right. Hey, I knew it was Jan. He must be the ninja that he sees. Laughing door in the circus village. Hey, it looks like looks like I can, I can just do that because I'm already fucking laughing. I like how you just you just bust through the fucking roof of Mizuno's house. <clears throat> it ain't no damn teleportation. He just blasted a hole through the roof. No regard. No regard. And there should be a chest in that room too. A green chest, maybe? Is he supposed to be a ninja? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is that a mistranslation? That's nice, I don't give a shit. And there is postcards from Jan's hidden village. Okay, and then the hundred year old man. It's in the water temple. Talk to the old man in the room with the frowning door inside the water temple. Huh. Okay. I did not need to leave the room. <laughs> right, let's uh, switch to the pig suit and then. Baron.
frowning door. Let's heal myself first, because I'm going to need to use grapple on this. Um, take a chance on that. What the fuck is the frowning door? It's gotta be in the other place then. It's gotta be on the other side somewhere. Really, you can't grapple onto that? There's no frowning door here. Another one. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, it's up here, okay. Next to the unnecessary loading zone. need the item because I'm going to be in the water so
go. And needless loading zone. Take your ship. Give me your postcard. <laughs> it is done. Alright, cool. And that's it. That's all the extra missions. I'll just check the events. 131. So let me just go back to the main events again. Make sure I am here. Okay. So find Tabby. Obviously, it doesn't get solved until end of the game. Make sure none of the main missions. Look for the last. Of the These are the plates. One. So, of discovered events 131. So there should be 137, I guess is what it boils down to. So 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Yep. All right. So the time has come. We're in the end game now. Down to the chain, under the bridge, the pipe area. Let's um, heal ourselves from this crying pit that we are we find ourselves in. Switch to the flying squirrel clothes, bearing us to the mine. Oh, I could have used it, but not whatever. Yeah, there might be a specific chain I need to climb down for this one. Climb down the chain under the bridge in the pipe area. Talk to Kynan. Chain under the bridge in the, in the pipe area. This is technically under the bridge in the pipe area. I believe all the areas are connected, so I'll find them eventually. Actually, wait a second. Hmm. I think I do need to fly to that question mark area. Uh, but before I do that, let me use the Manita Bell. Because I want to make sure I don't need to talk to What's-His-Face in the mouse temple after I've cleared all the shit from Tumble One. And then what I'll do is I'll just fly directly from there down into the question mark area. Hyped for for the end game. He is he is thoroughly hyped for the end of the evil pigs once and for all. just an extra dialogue box. That's fine. That's fine. 
Uh, Alright, so let's go. We need a... Squirrel suit, Baron. And there is Kynan in his Gandalf the Wizard robe. You see the Lord of the Rings references were definitely warranted in the last episode's title and Facebook um, caption. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. He's speaking the evil pig tongue. I don't give a shit. Okay. There's the last of the evil pig bags. It was hidden in the mud. Boy, that evil pig really hit his bag well. Man, hide it in the mud. I feel a great foreboding. Give me the bag. Thank you. Capture the last evil pig. Now, I do exactly what the website told me to do. Um, yes. Save my game here. go. So all events cleared up to this point. Let's go. There's some sort of mechanism that won't happen. Oh wait, what do I need to do? Probably should have paid attention. Oh, okay. I have to talk to him. Ha! Ah. Over the magical spell, it's a complex incantation passed down through the generations uh -huh, pig statues. Alright, so... Can I go in the door yet? Yes, I can. Okay. My best magic spell. My god, he's doing the Christopher Plummer thing from Star Crash! Uh huh. Fascinating. Your, your dialogue is so fascinating. There's the statues. So now I have to go find these um, pedestals here. Wolf Flame Pig Plate. Yeah, I believe my magic is full now. Um, where is the Evil Fire Pig? More. Go, clear. Everything is all frozen and shit. My goodness gracious. Alright. Uh, uh, where's Baron? Baron, I can't fly to the starting beach. That's interesting. Okay, fine. Uh, Jara. So.
Switch to the old ice pig clothes. And the blue pedestal should be around somewhere. I don't believe I can even go into the doors. Switch to the ghost pig robe now, and Baron will fly us to Dogwood Forest. Laughing Crying Forest. Alright, so it seems to have blocked off all the areas we don't need to go to. That was nice of them, so I don't have to do any needless exploration of areas I have traversed many times before. It's not going to be very far. There it is. Beautiful. Activate the event. And blow it up. Hey, Toby, I heard you were being a bad boy. You'll get no affection from me. You are you are allowed to sit with me, and nothing more. Uh, what pig? Oh, Earth pig. Let's do Earth pig. Baron. I'm guessing the water pig one is going to be at the water entrance, like down that chain along the right here on the left end. Yoosh! Good. And that just leaves the water pig. Baron. Um, no, wait, yeah, I'm here. So, switch. Up, up, up. That's the Russell Hotel. Get up the fucking ladder. Let me sing cat's music. Wah, wah, wah. No, I want to go into ice candy. Go up. Let's see, can I go in? Can I go in No, that's not it. There we go. It, is it won't let me fly to the water temple. Hmm. Right, maybe the mini bell will work. Just make sure. Yeah, water temple doesn't let me fly there. Try mini to bell, see if that works. It doesn't. So where the fuck do I go? Let me look shit up. The fuck? In the water temple. How do I get to the fucking water temple? Okay. None of the doors work. Magic wings, maybe. See, the starting beach lets you get to it. I mean, I don't think the doors work, so let me try it again. Question mark. A fly in the ointment, if you will. Here are you. Do you know what? 
yeah, this is a different area, so I think this will bring me to a different spot. Right? Okay, so these doors work. So then I just have to find the door to the water temple. Jara. And I believe they're all connected. This section of tunnels is all connected. So I just gotta find the door that leads to the water temple. does this lead me to? This leads me to... Some place... Okay, right here. Let's see if I can go on this chain here. Okay. And you... See, it doesn't tell you that you have to use these tunnels to navigate back to the water temple. And why they restrict the water temple, I have no idea. Oh, let's see what's going on here. At least so many doors left. I don't think we've had a door that led to Oh, we did do the door that led to Kajar, so this has to be it by now. Yep, and the water also is frozen. Which means... Blue pedestal right here. And then... Splodoosh. Beautiful. Beautiful in my eyes. So that's all of them. Switch my clothing back to the blind squirrel. Just because it's easier to use. I'm pretty sure that's everything at this point. I'll check the events list once I get in to the room. Just to make sure. Um, 137 have been located. So two have not been cleared. Fine, Tabby. We just make sure there's nothing extra I was supposed to do to find Tabby before this point. Cleared at the end of the game. That's what I thought. All right, cool. So, yep, that's everything. It is time. Let's wrap this shit up. I wonder what the ping ball does to the last evil pick. Probably not. <laughs> Probably just hits him. All right. Uh, what do I have equipped right now? I have the Doka pen. As it should be. Skadoosh! Let's let this play out. Why the fuck not? This is the gold evil pick. Yes. <laughs> In the first game, the last boss is called the real evil pig. I guess the other evil pigs weren't real. Or the really evil pig, that's what they're trying to say. You know, the real evil pig. 
trying to be funky, funky, fresh. It was the 90s. Why not? God, it looks like an embryo. See, they refer to him as Tomba here, but the original name of the character, where the, in the country it comes from, I I want to say it's 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 a French company, Whoopi Camp, um, is Tom B. So, is there different voice acting in the, in the European version of this game? I wonder. I'm gonna Google that shit. Technically, I'm not frozen. I mean, is that your plan? <laughs> See, it would be cool if this boss fight was, like, somewhat different from the other ones. I mean, it does have this these, these things here, but I don't think I actually need to utilize them. Like, I could go someplace that's not going to make me jump on them. Like here, for example. Oh, on my face, you dick. God damn it. Alright. He's a little fast, girl. I'll say that. I might... Fuck. I might need to take off the squirrel clothes for this. Oh, you dick. Right on my fucking head. And I'm pretty sure it's still only three times. Like, I don't think you have to capture him, like, five times or anything like that. Even in the first time of the game, I'm pretty sure the last evil pig, you didn't need to, um... Catch him more than once. That's two. I don't think the contact damage is more than normal here. Dick. Gotcha, bitch. And is that it? Nope. Okay, so maybe it's like five times. It is almost certainly not. Like ten times, something like that. He's in angry mode now. Is he just gonna keep doing this? I mean, it's just four times. No, yeah, probably five. We'll see. Alright, yeah, no, it was five. And then... Final Evil Pig Get. How do you really feel? That's impossible. I mean, I, I didn't think I was actually trying to kill you. I was trying to catch you in a bag. If I was trying to kill you, I would have, like, skewered you in the face with the giant spike ball chain that I've been carrying around since the Tower of Wisdom. No, no, we won't, because Whoopi Camp went bankrupt, and we never saw them again. <laughs> And there's Tabby. Oh, oh. 
What? Where? Just me or does Tabby sound like Terry Gar? Now time for a roll in the hay, right Terry? B -b -b Baron, flying doggo to the rescue. And now it should show everything getting healed, but I won't be able to interact with anything else because this is the end of the game, and it'll reload me at my last save point, which is right in front of the door, I think. So. Oh yeah, wavy gravy. Now let's see that gold medallion for no fucking reason. Look at Thomas' face. He's like, eh. <laughs> oh wow, I just saw a close up of his fucking teeth. The teeth sprites. Like Sonic the Hedgehog three, eat your heart out. So I guess Tabby just lives here. Like I said, that does make sense. This is this is where her house is, so yeah, that makes sense. Shut up, Charles. Jackass. Get yourself into a fucking mess. Gotta save you. Trying to start some shit? Trying to start some Zippo? Discount Nobby? Leave me out of this. Leave me out of this. Several ghosts, actually, but who's counting? And I also saved him from being itchy, from being hungry, from being consumed by man-eating plants. Everyone. Everyone. Except for the Whoopi Camp investors. And then they bang. All four of them. <laughs> no, I won't. It's like, give me the booty. Give me the booty. Mm, give me the booty. Thanks, Terry Gar. Wait a minute. What do you mean, come back? Zippo, Zippo's not going with you? I thought you were friends to the end. Heidi ho, ha ha ha. But you just lived in his hair and did all his translation for him. It was just for this adventure, I see. Yeah, they say the name several times here. So that, that leads me to believe there's different dialogue in the European version of the game. And now, this is where we find out that we did clear all the missions. Or that I only missed, missed one mission. Great, but you missed several missions. I am? I'm impressed. And then, here, I get a suit. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> 
Somebody finally comments on Toma running around naked. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Because you don't actually get to use the damn suit. That would be cool if they let you do like a New Game Plus kind of thing where you get to wear the suit. Yeah, I don't remember this shit at all. Alright, maybe I remember a little bit. I don't remember the suit. I, oh, that's because he loses the suit. He's like, fuck your suit. And then him and Charles just, just, just ride off into the sunset on their Skies of Arcadia airship. Remember Skies of Arcadia? On the, on, on the, on the Nintendo GameCube. I think I mentioned I did research on that for my game. My, uh, my role-playing game that I've never adequately described on camera. <laughs> but I've mentioned it several times. Well, we. The fuck just happened? Did they just did they run into like an orca or some shit? Did they fucking die? What kind of way is that to end the fucking game? What just happened there? Ah, uh, Tomba two. As, as you know, as aggravating as, as the, the like the, the trolley and the Kujara shit is, it's still a really good game. It's really sad that we never got a, a, a follow up. That Toma never really went anywhere. Because Whoopi Camp, I guess, didn't know how to spend money. I don't fucking know what happened there. And maybe it just wasn't. I can't imagine it was not that it, it wasn't popular. I mean, this is basically the first game, but better. Missions you could not miss. Um, better, more or less better graphics, I guess. Um, more interesting items. You could use more magic. You could do more with your magic meter. Cooler things with the magic. The boss fights were a little more interesting in that, you know, you had to at least throw them in the bag three times. Admittedly, you could pretty much spam all of the bosses pretty quickly. Yeah, you know, Whoopi Camp, so sad. <laughs> I know I shit on you, but I miss you. I miss you. Alright, so next time. Whatever shall we do? Um, next time will be Cody's show. I think we're just going to call it Cody Plays. Just keep it simple. We're going to call it Cody's Cave Wonders. Fuck's going through his head sometimes. Um, <laughs> so he's going to be playing a game. Again, I'm not going to spoil what it is. Um, I don't know when that's actually going to start. I'm going to be going to New York next week, uh, visiting family and going on an expedition to find more Nintendo 64 paraphernalia. Try to see if I can get my uh, batteries changed in my uh, my Gen 1 Pokemon games. Because once Cody finishes his game, we're jumping right back right into the next era of uh, the Game Cave playthroughs, and that's the Gotta Catch Em All era. We're going to be doing several Pokemon playthroughs um, in relatively close proximity. So, um, we're either going to be doing Pokemon Red or Yellow um, second, I think is what it is, because Pokemon Gold is technically the first one that I played, I think. I spent maybe a little bit of time on Pokemon Red on uh, my cousin's Game Boy when he first got it, but I think I spent the most the, the, the most significant time playing um, Technically Silver, I think is what it was, at the Circuit City, which I might have mentioned in a previous video. Um, and um, so we'll be doing the Gen 2 game first, and then I'll either be doing Yellow or Red after that. It just sort of depends on what I decide to do, because I have my copy of Yellow for some reason. My copy of Red seems to have disappeared, um, but if they have a, an affordable copy of Red at JNL when I go to New York. I might consider it. But JNL tends to be very, very expensive when it comes to basically everything. And my funds are somewhat limited. So um I yeah, it's more than likely gonna be yellow as our Gen 1 game. Um but then after that, in case you don't recall, I have that Nintendo 64 my father in law gave me. I inherited from my wife's uncle. Um, and I did purchase a copy of Pokemon Stadium 2. So that will be the, um, almost like the climax of the Gen 2 era stuff. I am still going to be doing Crystal at some point. 
Um, but then I think we're going to be jumping back into PlayStation 1 games again. All right, enough jibber-jabber. That's all for now. Next time, Cody's going to play some shit. Later, bitches.